Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Trading Crypto. We're going to do a sort of deep dive into what's going on with Bitcoin in this episode. So Bitcoin's down 2.5% at 42,459. I'm going to go over the shorts and what I believe Bitcoin is going to be looking like here in the near future. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Bitcoin. Good morning, everyone. Let's take a little deep dive into Bitcoin and see what's going on here. If we draw a fib from the the recent bottom of March, the beginning bottom of March to the high in April, we can see that the 618 here is at 4135 or 415. So what we really need to focus on here is staying above 415. You can see we dipped to the support channel here at 42 and that held and we were working our way back up a little bit. RSI is incredibly low for Bitcoin. Personally, I think this support here is going to hold and we're going to be working our way back up to 45,000 here pretty soon. Worst case scenario I see is a drop down to the 618 at 41.5. That absolutely needs to hold or we are going to be having a bad time because after that, the next drop is 39.5. On Bitcoin um, but the RSI is just incredibly low right now if you look in the past yes we have dipped down to 19 on the RSI but 19 on the RSI would approximately bring us down to this support channel right here at around 40,000 so um, we're kind of on the cusp of possibly having a massive dip here um, I know I'm I've always said that we're in an extended bull market and stuff like that but you can't lie against the charts. I mean, I, some people can say that we are in a channel. I get that. Uh, you can say, hey, look, we have this channel going right here. We have to go to the bottom of the channel uh, to continue our upwards movement. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Uh, that would bring us down to the 618 here at 41.5, and then we can start continuing up here, and that can be our bottom and break to our um, recent high of 2022. So that is a possibility. There's just a ton of different possibilities for Bitcoin. Um, personally, I like this channel one because it's just bullish. <laughs> you know, you have that drop. But realistically, we just need to look at what's going on with Bitcoin and everything like that. Uh, I would keep an eye on the support at 4203. If we break below that, our next stop is the 618 at 415. 415, in my opinion, definitely needs a hold. Or we're going to start seeing some big move moves down. Um I hate to say it, but I, I, I don't hate to say it, but I still think we're in an extended bull market. Um, people are getting sh shooken out right now. They're getting eaten alive with all this volatility. Um, I'm just buying the dip, you know, dollar cost averaging. So with that, let's take a look at the Bitcoin shorts. See what's going on with them. So Bitcoin shorts actually uh, moved up from the last time I charted them. So we are below the resistance at 941, though. But we are technically in a slight uptrend as well. We aren't getting crazy like we were back here on March 10th. But we are slightly moving up um, on the RSI. So we need to keep a fo focus on 941 for the shorts. Let me zoom in a little bit here. You can see it's not getting crazy. Uh, I don't see why uh, people are starting. Back here, people were calm as a cucumber, and now the shorts aren't going that crazy and shorts have been right 100 percent of the time when they've skyrocketed like this so for them not to be skyrocketing like this because we had that big skyrocket and then we had that big dip and they they got that right and they've been right every single time they've done something like this and we're not seeing that right now so in my opinion um i, I don't really see a massive drop coming here in the future um just basing that off these bitcoin shorts uh, for the shorts right now, let's take a little dive into there with the RSI and see what's going on. So hopefully, this is what I'm hoping, um, we come back up here and actually get rejected at this resistance and put in a, a lower high. Once we do that, we can start talking about laddering back down to the low 30s on the RSI. The RSI is not crazy high right now. So shorts aren't going to the moon. So people are kind of just sitting on the sidelines uh, keeping an eye on Bitcoin. So back to BTC. But the main thing we need to focus on here for Bitcoin is the 618. We can't fall below that, in my opinion. If we fall below that, we're going to have a bad time. Um, RSI has just been hovering around 30. I personally don't see it going much lower. If we did drop to 19, like I said it did in the past, that would bring us down to the 618 at 41.5. 
And from there, I think we'd have a big rally up. You can see 42 held. I think 41.5 would hold, and then we'd start working our way back up. Um, doomsday scenario is 40,000. I don't think we hit that, but if we ever did hit 40,000, I think we'd see a massive green spike from there. Um, I know a lot of people are buying Bitcoin right now on a dip. And, if, I mean, if we even look at uh, Tether... See the volume that people are putting in on tether so you have the bitcoin tether scenario um if you look at the volume see the volume isn't even that crazy either so bitcoin's kind of just doing it not really doing its own thing it's just shaking people out right now and as you can see here uh, that's not even the right coin. So yeah, I'm getting off topic here. This is getting way too long. So with that, let's just keep an eye on the 618. I'm going to have a live stream tonight if you guys want to pop on there. Uh, keep an eye on the 618 if the support breaks. Worst case scenario is the 786 at 40,000. I went over the short. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you'd just like to chat, please join my Discord channel. You'll find the link below in the description. EFG. If you would like to support the Charting Crypto channel, you can head over to my Open Seas, which you can find the link below in the description. I have two different collections. One's just supporting Charting Crypto, which has my achievements of subscribers turned in the NFTs. I have another one, Charting o Crypto OG, which gives you perks for owning these NFTs. Oh.